ओके सो आज हम लोग देखेंगे फ्लक्स डेंसिटी टू स्ट्रेट कंडक्टर कैरिंग करंट इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी सॉ अबाउट द फ्लक्स डेंसिटी ड्यू टू सर्कुलर कॉयल एट द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कुलर कॉयल एंड एट द एक्सेस ऑफ द सर्कुलर कॉयल कैरिंग करंट तो इस वीडियो में हम लोग देखेंगे कैसे फ्लक्स डेंसिटी ड्यू टू स्ट्रेट कंडक्टर निकाला जाता है सो फर्स्ट ऑफ विल ड्रॉ स्ट्रेट कंडक्टर इट इज़ वेरी ईजी एक्स एंड लेट एक्स वाई बी द स्ट्रेट कंडक्टर ओके एंड करेंट आई इज़ फ्लोइंग थ्रू इट एंड वी नो अकॉर्डिंग टू ऑइस्टर एज ए सेड when the current flows through the circuit uh, magnetic field is produced similarly when the current is flowing through this conductor magnetic field is being produced now let us consider a point p okay this is inside the magnetic field of this conductor so let the point p be the specified point where we need to calculate the flux density and as i said that whenever we mention about the specified point after that immediately after that we need to say about the elemental length so let ab be the elemental length here we need to see that ab is a bit lower than the specified point p so ab is the elemental length and we know the midpoint of the elemental length or specified point ko join kiya jata hai so iska midpoint c and the specified point p will be joined i'm so, I'm so yeah it will be joined now this will be called r okay such that cp equal to r so in language we'll write that the midpoint of the elemental length c and the specified point p are joined such that cp equal to r okay and see in the last um, two applications we saw that the um, length was a in circular coil the length was a uh, at the center of the circular coil Um, the length was a where between the specified point and the midpoint of the elemental length in this uh, circular coil along the axis we needed to calculate flux density then we saw that uh, the length was r okay and similarly here also r we need to compare all the things like piche ka compare karte jayenge tab easy rahega ye karenge to piche ka bhulenge nahi isliye piche ka compare karenge piche ka r tha yahan pe bhi r hai now see in the last two there were 90 degree okay the angle between the elemental length uh, and the line joining the elemental length and specified point it was 90 degree theta was 90 degree so theta was equal to 90 degree but in this one we'll let theta equal to let the angle be theta okay so angle c uh, sorry angle pc and o will um, write here o it will be theta so in the last two applications theta was equal to 90 degree but here the angle will be theta okay now we see that there is a point m in the conductor and m and p are joined such that it is perpendicular okay so this is perpendicular and it is joined such that this angle will be alpha it means angle m p c is given alpha it is joined in such a way okay so see till now what we did is just a conductor carrying current p is the specified point there okay p is the specified point there and then elemental length and uh, specified point is connected such that the angle between them is theta and then um, perpendicular is drawn such that angle mpc equal to alpha further we need to do only one thing that these two ends are connected okay such that this angle will be so this angle will be alpha 1 and this angle will be alpha 2 it means that from this perpendicular okay from this perpendicular this angle should be this angle should be alpha 1 and this angle should be alpha 2 from the perpendicular okay don't get confused from the perpendicular so the figure is very 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 easy conductor carrying current specified point p elemental length and specified point connected a perpendicular drawn okay such that angle between them is alpha and then the both the ends of the conductor are joined to the specified point such that this angle will be alpha 1 and this angle will be alpha 2 okay we can see the figure here clearly it's uh, very easy now in the description you can see it's um, almost the same thing so let us consider a long straight conductor xy through which current i is flowing as i said current i is flowing and the magnetic field is produced let p the p be the point within the magnetic field of the conductor where the flux density is to be calculated 
and after, as I said after mentioning about the specified point we need to say about the elemental length so let AB is the AB equal to DL equal is the small elemental length whose midpoint in C C and P are joined um, and such that CP equal to R the angle between the elemental length and CP is theta here you can see it is theta okay and then a perpendicular is drawn such that this is alpha and then both the ends are connected such that angle mpx is alpha 1 and angle mpy is alpha 2 okay so this elemental length is dl as I, as I didn't mention it but it's obvious that it will be dl okay and the one thing it's given here is that this midpoint and this m the length is l between them okay ye midpoint jo is c aur ye m in dono ke beech ka jo length hai it is l okay it is l ye midpoint midpoint of elemental length and this m okay so see again we see it's very simple this is dl and this is l okay this is about the figure now let's go for the calculations of this so as we see here's the description one and then it's very simple according to bayard savage law it is db equal to mu naught by 4 pi ideal sin theta by r square it's bayard savage law okay mu naught by 4 pi ideal sin theta by r square this will be our first equation okay now see we need to um, put the values of sin theta okay and then we need to put the value of r and then we need to put the value of dlc now i'll tell you one thing in the last class means in the last application we saw that we um, calculated the value to be b equal to mu naught i a by 2 r square sine alpha okay uh, we can see this in the notebook also that we we had calculated this much in the flux density um, of the plane circular coil along its axis we saw that we calculated this and then we put the values of sin alpha and r for our convenience okay we put the value of sin alpha and then r we calculated sin alpha and r from this particular triangle okay so here also we need to put the values similarly but here we need to put the values of sin theta r as well as dl okay similar there we need to put the value of sin alpha and r here we need to put the value of r sin theta and dl as well okay so now first of all we'll calculate the value of sin theta dl and r so how can we calculate obviously we can calculate it from the figure and from the triangle using all those pythagoras theorems and trigonometric ratios so see first of all we need to calculate the value of sin theta okay so for the value of sin theta we can see that here in this triangle in triangle mpc okay in triangle mpc we can see that theta is here and alpha is here and this is 90 degree okay so theta plus alpha plus 90 degree will be 180 degree some of the angles of the triangle theta plus alpha plus 90 degree will be equal to 180 degree so obviously theta plus alpha will be 90 degree okay so theta will be 90 degree minus alpha now we need the value of sine theta isn't it so we'll put sine on both sides so sine theta will be equal to sine 90 degree minus alpha now sine theta will be equal to sine 90 minus alpha is cos alpha so we got the value of sine theta okay now we need the value of r Mm, for value of r we can see that r is this thing this is r okay and we know that this one is a okay i forgot to tell you one thing just remember this mp when we connect this mp m and p perpendicular this its length will be a okay it will be a mm, extremely sorry that i forgot that so mp will be a and this is r again you can see the figure for clearance it is mp is a and this is r so from the figure we can see that this is r this is alpha this is a we need the value of r so which trigonometric ratio we can use to get the value of r okay so when we look at it it can be that cos alpha will be equal to a by r because cos alpha it is b by h cos theta means b by h here b is a and h is r so we can write that cos alpha equal to 
b by h equal to a by r once again we'll see that <coughs> see हम लोग को sin theta का value चाहिए r का value चाहिए sin theta का value we calculated okay now we need r for r uh, we can use this one thing see cos alpha will be equal to a by r I say compare and study so in the last video we saw that we calculated it using Pythagoras theorem it was r square equal to a square plus x square in this way we calculated r equal to root integral a square plus x square so it was a square plus x square to the power 1 by 2 like this we calculated but in this one we will not calculate like that we will calculate using this trigonometric ratio so b by h will use cos alpha equal to a by r it will be cos alpha equal to a by r so r will be a cos alpha now we got the sorry a by cos alpha okay so we got the values of sine theta we got the value of r now we need a value of dl because we need to put all these three values now how can we calculate dl for calculating dl here it's a bit complex thing for calculating dl we'll need the we'll use this l length l because we पूरे फिगर में कहीं पे भी dl कहीं पे भी नहीं है सो so, हम लोग l यूज करके dl को कैलकुलेट करेंगे आई I मीन mean, dl यहां पे है जरूर लेकिन इसका कोई पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू नहीं है लेट्स नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज्ड लेट्स मेक इट सिंपल सी वी डिड sin थीटा वी डिड r नाउ वी नीड dl सो फॉर dl विल डू वन थिंग दैट सी फिगर में देखेंगे अगेन व्हेन यू यूज दिस tan alpha विल बी इक्वल टू p by b सो so, p इज दिस l एंड b इज a सो so, tan alpha विल बी इक्वल टू L by A. So again, L will be equal to A tan alpha, है ना? A will be L will be equal to A tan alpha. Now we'll differentiate it with respect to alpha. So it will be d L sorry, d L by d alpha will be equal to d by d alpha. It is A tan alpha we will just differentiate it dl by d alpha equal to c a is constant a will come outside okay so it will remain d tan alpha by d alpha the value of this will be 6 square alpha isn't it because it's the formula so dl by d alpha equal to a 6 square alpha so we got the value of dl it is a 6 square alpha d alpha we got the value of dl now see we got all the three values dl sin theta and r in the last application we only needed the value of sin alpha and r okay there was no dl so we just calculated the value of sin alpha and r we put there okay but in this one we need sin theta r and dl sin theta we calculated how by using theta plus alpha plus 90 degree equal to 180 degree all we calculate from this triangle only okay from theta plus alpha 90 degree theta equal to 90 minus alpha sine theta equal to this much and like this we calculate sine alpha sorry sine theta and then for r we did cos alpha we used cos alpha and then we calculated like this and similarly for dl we used tan alpha so this trick of yaad karne ke liye ki sabse pehle hum ko sine use karna fir cos use karna fir tan use karna sine cos tan okay we'll use all these three to calculate all the three values for r we use cos for dl we use tan okay tan how we calculated it is simple we differentiated with respect to alpha never forget this there is maximum probability to forget this one so differentiating with respect to alpha practice this one it is very easy practice karte karte apne aaj ka so dl by d alpha uh, and then like this calculations so all these three values came now we'll put the values okay we'll just Put the value there so using all the equations we just put the value there after putting the value it will come like this again i'll show you the calculation see our um, figure was u naught by 4 pi ideal sine theta by r square isn't it by at savage law u naught by 4 pi ideal sine theta by r square okay here we are using the distance of this uh, specified point and the midpoint of the elemental length first one is the first one application the application one at the center of the circular coil we used a because the distance was a you can see the notebook if you want the distance was a second wala mein r tha, so we used r and here also it is r so we are using r now see mu naught by 4 pi 
द वे इट इज आई डी एल का वैल्यू सबसे पहले डालेंगे डी एल का वैल्यू वी हैव ए सेक्स स्क्वायर एल्फा डी एल्फा सो ए सेक्स स्क्वायर एल्फा डी एल्फा एंड देन साइन थीटा का वैल्यू कॉस एल्फा वी कैलकुलेटेड कॉस एल्फा बाई आर का वैल्यू वी कैलकुलेटेड ए बाई कॉस एल्फा इट इज स्क्वायर सो ए स्क्वायर बाई कॉस स्क्वायर एल्फा नो सी बिलो द कैलकुल मी नोट बाई फोर बाई यू कैन डू द कैलकुलेशन विथ मी जस्ट डू इट अलॉन्ग मी सो नो सी ए सिक्स स्क्वायर एल्फा डी एल्फा कॉस एल्फा and now we'll do like this cos square alpha by a it is just the calculation nothing else now see it will become mu naught by 4 pi i and a and a cancel okay a and a cancel remaining 6 square alpha 6 square alpha d alpha cos alpha into cos square alpha is cos cube alpha okay mu naught by 4 pi i so we know that uh, Six square alpha is see so sec alpha is one by cos alpha, isn't it? So six square alpha will be one by cos square alpha d alpha cos cube alpha cube and this cancel, so it will be mu naught by four pi i cos alpha d alpha. This is our expression for the small flux density due to the elemental length at the specified point p. Okay. Now, as we know that we'll integrate it within respective limits to get the total flux density. So now the integration part. Now see, uh, the integration part we know it is like this. Now see the respective limits is the term we need to um, concern it about. So in the last two applications we saw that the respective limit was zero to two pi a. बिकॉज आई सेड कि ये जैसे सर्कुलर कॉयल हो तो ये जीरो से स्टार्ट होके पूरा पेरीमीटर होते हुए ऐसे टू पाई ए एंटायर लेंथ ऑफ द कंडक्टर सो टू पाई ए नाउ इन दिस वन फिगर ओके इन दिस फिगर वी सी दैट वी सी दैट इन द फिगर विल नोटिस जस्ट ए सेकेंड आई एम ओपन द फिगर so we can see that the respective limit okay here it was 0 to 2 pi ab yahan pe respective limit see it should be the entire length of the conductor isn't it so when we see entire length of the conductor is l this hole is the entire length of the conductor this hole is the entire length of the conductor conductor so it should be alpha 1 to alpha 2 isn't it like this ye pura hona chahiye entire length so respective limit will be alpha 1 to alpha 2 okay sorry it was not working so see here the respective limits isn't it the respective limits usme kya tha perimeter we used okay it was 0 to 2 pi a hai na 0 to 2 pi a entire length so here the entire length should be this whole entire length of the conductor okay so p se entire length hona chahiye so so p se entire length alpha 1 to alpha 2 ye total entire length hai na ye total entire length hai so see alpha 1 to alpha 2 it is the entire length isn't it alpha 1 to alpha 2 like this it is the entire length of the conductor so we use the limits alpha 1 and alpha 2 so see it will be b equal to now see here we'll use minus alpha 1 i'll tell you the logic behind minus because see ye alpha 1 is going downwards and alpha 2 is going upwards so see for this in to take in same direction we should use minus here hai na Because it is going downwards, it is going upwards. So ये अगर एक ही direction में लेना है तो एक को तो minus बनाना पड़ेगा. So alpha one का minus बना है. Alpha minus alpha one to alpha two. So minus alpha one to alpha two. Remember this thing. It's very simple. And then we'll put the value. Okay, we calculated the value to be mu naught i a four pi a cos alpha d alpha. We calculated this, है ना? So now constant term will go outside. Four pi a constant term outside alpha one to alpha two minus alpha one sorry so cos alpha will remain there cos alpha का integration हम लोगों को पता है sine alpha isn't it so see minus alpha one alpha two sine alpha d alpha no now see it is the limits so sine alpha so limits में it will be माइनस अल्फा वन अल्फा टू सो वील पुट द अपर लिमिट फर्स्ट ओके अपर लिमिट फर्स्ट इन दिन द लोअर लिमिट इट्स द रूल फोर पाई ए सो अपर लिमिट फर्स्ट इट इज 
अल्फा के जगह पे अल्फा टू रखेंगे साइन अल्फा टू माइनस द लोअर लिमिट इट इज साइन अल्फा वन माइनस अल्फा वन है ना सी आल सो यू अगेन इट इज म्यू नॉट आई बाई फोर पाई साइन अल्फा अल्फा टू एंड अल्फा वन माइनस अल्फा वन इज इंट इट दिस वॉज आवर एक्सप्रेशन टिल नाउ नो फर्स्ट विल कीप द अपर लिमिट माइनस द लोअर लिमिट अकॉर्डिंग टू द रूल सो इट इज म्यू नॉट आई बाई फोर पाई ए नो अपर लिमिट फर्स्ट अल्फा टू अपर लिमिट अल्फा टू नो द लोअर लिमिट माइनस अल्फा वन ओके माइनस माइनस अल्फा वन इन प्लेस ऑफ अल्फा विल कीप दो टू थिंग्स सो म्यू नॉट आई बाई फोर पाई ए नो साइन अल्फा टू माइनस साइन अल्फा टू माइनस माइनस प्लस सो सो दिस विल बी आर फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन म्यू नॉट आई बाई फोर पाई ए साइन अल्फा टू प्लस साइन अल्फा वन दिस इज आर फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द फ्लक्स डेंसिटी इट इज स्ट्रेट कंडक्टर कैरिंग करेंट ओके ना उसी जैसे पिछले दो में स्पेशल केस था इसमें भी दो स्पेशल केस है ओके स्पेशल केस वेरी सिंपल स्पेशल केसेज आर वेरी ईजी लास्ट टू में स्पेशल केस क्या था वो द रेडियस ऑफ द सर्कुलर कॉइल विल बी स्मॉल वगैरह वगैरह ना उसी इन दिस स्पेशल केसेज बट दिस स्पेशल केस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स कॉन कम इन यूज वेरी ऑफन आगे इफ द कंडक्टर इज इनफाइनाइटली लॉन्ग एज वी सी इफ द कंडक्टर इज इनफाइनाइटली लॉन्ग सो दिस इज आर एक्सप्रेशन एंड इफ द कंडक्टर इज इनफाइनाइटली लॉन्ग लाइक सी दिस इज आर कंडक्टर बट इफ द कंडक्टर इज इनफाइनाइटली लॉन्ग देन क्या होगा इफ इट इज इनफाइनाइटली लॉन्ग देन सी इट्स सिंपल डोंट सी द फिगर वी नो वी डो नॉट नीड टू मेक द फिगर इट्स वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स टू अब सी ओबियसली इफ ये इनफाइनाइटली लॉन्ग होगा तो ये अल्फा बढ़ते जाएगा बढ़ते जाएगा बढ़ते जाएगा ओके इट विल गो ऑन इंक्रीजिंग एंड इफ इट इज इनफाइनाइटली लॉन्ग इट विल दिस अल्फा दिस एंगल अल्फा विल बिकम लाइक दिस है ना सो दिस इज नाइन्टी डिग्री दिस विल ऑल्सो बिकम नाइन्टी डिग्री ओके इफ इट इज इनफाइनाइटली लॉन्ग सो अल्फा वन विल बी पाई बाई टू नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड अल्फा टू विल ऑल्सो भी पाई बाई टू नाइन्टी डिग्री सी वाई इट इज नाइन्टी डिग्री सी वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस अल्फा इसके रेस्पेक्ट में इस लाइन के रेस्पेक्ट में द रेस्पेक्ट ऑफ एम पी नो सी इफ दिस विल बी इनफाइनाइटली लॉन्ग दिस कंडक्टर विल बी इनफाइनाइटली लॉन्ग दिस देन दिस टू दिस दिस पॉइंट कनेक्टिंग द एंड विल बी वेरी 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 फार लाइक दिस इतना दूर हो जाएगा लगभग इम्पॉसिबल सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस इन दिस रेस्पेक्ट इट विल बी नाइन्टी डिग्री इसके रेस्पेक्ट में एम पी के रेस्पेक्ट में सो इट इज नाइन्टी डिग्री वन इट इज नाइन्टी डिग्री देन द इक्वेशन विल बी सम हाउ लाइक दिस फोर पाई ए साइन अल्फा वन विल बी साइन नाइन्टी प्लस साइन नाइन्टी वी नो साइन नाइन्टी इज ऑलवेज वन सो वन प्लस वन सो फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन विल बी नॉट आई बाई फोर पाई ए दिस इज आर फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन इफ द कंडक्टर इज इनफाइनेटली लॉन्ग सेकेंड वन इफ द स्पेसिफाइड पॉइंट इफ द स्पेसिफाइड पॉइंट लाइज इन फ्रंट ऑफ एनी वन एंड ऑफ द इनफाइनेटली लॉन्ग कंडक्टर इट मीन्स दैट ये जो स्पेसिफाइड पॉइंट है हम ये जो स्पेसिफाइड पॉइंट है ये किसी भी एक एंड के सामने अगर रहता है आइदर इन फ्रंट ऑफ एंड एक्स और इन फ्रंट ऑफ एंड वाई ये स्पेसिफाइड पॉइंट किसी भी एंड के सामने रहता है तब क्या होगा इफ इट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ एनी वन ऑफ द एंड देन ओबियसली वन एंगल विल बी वन एंगल विल बी पाई बाई टू एंड एन अदर एंगल विल बी जीरो हाउ एल्सो यू सी सपोज दिस पॉइंट लाइज इन फ्रंट ऑफ एक्स ओके सपोज दिस पॉइंट लाइज इन फ्रंट ऑफ एक्स सो दिस इज अ कंडक्टर दिस इज पी एक्स नो इट एक्स सो इट विल लाई हेयर पी नो सी एल्फा वन तो इसका If it is lying here in front of x, then see alpha one is the angle connecting this, angle connecting like this. Now see if the point P is lying here, then one angle will be zero. ये अगर P यहाँ पे है तो ये angle जो alpha one है, alpha one, alpha one the angle connecting the x and P. So ये अगर x के सामने ही है तो x and P का connect करने का angle zero है ना zero. And one the point connecting P and y, it will be like this, you know, it will be लग बग like this. So this will be 90 degree because it will not match there okay it will if it is infinitely long and it is lying in front of one end then one will be zero but another with infinitely long is so where it is going it is going infinity so okay it will be 90 degree so in this way one angle will be 90 degree alpha 1 will be alpha 1 will be zero alpha 2 will be 90 degree so when we put the values there one alpha 1 will be zero and alpha 2 will be 90 so sin alpha 1 is we know it will be 
zero sin alpha one it means sine zero is always zero and sine 90 is one so the equation will be somehow like this okay and this way you can do sine zero alpha one is zero so sine zero is zero and sine pi by two is one so this will be the equation okay here the equation was to pi a and this is all about the conductor carrying current the straight conductor carrying current very easy if you have any problems please ask me Thank you.